Hey guys, and uh, welcome back to my channel. Uh, before we get started, I just want to remind you guys to um, like and subscribe this video if you love it and you want to see more of me. I also have an Instagram dedicated to this channel, and that is love.adira. I have recently made a Twitter um, to kind of go with those three social media platforms for my YouTube, and you can follow me on there. Um, what's the name of my Twitter? Ah, it is at underscore love a deer. I'll put it all down below so you guys can uh, join in on the fun on anything besides YouTube. But anyway, today, as you can see in the description, I have an updated review of my um, all virgin hair. Hair. <laughs> I've had it for a while, and it is on a U. On a U. It's not a U part. Wait. Oh my God. Okay. It is a wig <laughs> that I made with a closure. I am loving it still. If you have not seen my initial review, then I'll go ahead and link that down below as well. Um, just some of the basics on it, if you haven't seen that video, is um, I have their Cambodian Natural Wave in a 2018-16, and I believe the closure is a 14 or 16. Why can't I remember that? Anyway, um, All Virgin Hair is an Atlanta-based hair boutique um, that did send me this hair to do a review. But as always, I always give you the honest truth on how I feel about it. Um, this has kind of been my go-to throw-on wig, especially because it was one of the only ones that I had that had a closure, so I don't have to sew it down. I don't have to have leave out, which is great for the winter time here. Um, so I've been grabbing this a lot to wear it. Um, I'll throw in some pictures I wore it for my birthday. I've been kind of just wearing it whenever I want to wear it. And ultimately, I feel the exact same about it now as I did in my initial review. Uh, the pros of it is the texture. I've actually been wearing it uh, kind of brushed out, whereas in the first video, it was in its natural wave state. I'm really loving it brushed out because it's just a little bigger. Um, it doesn't really get frizzy, which I like. So even though it's bigger and poofier and more voluminous it's not out of control it's not tangly or anything like that um, so definitely the texture of the hair is my absolute favorite part of it it took the color well I'm still in love with my color and um, ultimately I want to say the only thing that I dislike about it um, is that it does get a little dry kind of fast um, not anything that's annoying like it doesn't frustrate me that it gets dry but it just is something that I can point out about it if I had to list a con otherwise honestly I love it um, I can't tell you how many times I've worn it and any times that I do feel that it may be getting a little dry slap some water on it slap some conditioner on it rinse it out and we're good again so yeah um ultimately I love it still. I will probably do a final review after I've had it for a while. I think it's probably been about a month wearing it on and off. I'm not wearing it consistently like a sew-in or an install, but do I feel like it would hold up? Yes, I do if you take care of it. Um, I don't put much product in it. In this video, I did put uh, this Organics. Is this Organics? Yeah, the Organics um, Argon Oil. I put just a teeny tiny bit of that because I'm brushing it out and I don't want it to be frizzy or dry. Um, so I put just a little bit of this on it. But otherwise, I don't put any product in this hair. Um, I'm going to go ahead and get to how I install my wig, um, how I prep my hair under it when I wear it. Um, yeah, so if you want to see how I wear this wig, go ahead and keep watching. Outside of that, guys, as always, thank you for watching my videos and seeing my channel. Make sure you go check out all of the other ones, and I will see you next time.